Good day, everybody. Again, my name is Eric Leyland, and I am with Basis Technologies. As the uh, screen talks about today, uh, we're going a little bit beyond programmatic. So uh, as we talk about what Basis is, I'm going to rewind just a little bit. Basis is here to help agencies and brands within the programmatic space. So the reason why we're a technology company is, is that we have many different ways to help with managing all of these complex areas. So what I wanted to spend some time on today is, is some of the different inter integrations that we have with different platforms that are out there that we as Basis use to pipe into Basis the platform. So when we look at what Basis is bringing to the table from integrations, we have over 170 different integrations that, that we have that we connect through APIs. And one of the big things I wanted to spend talking about today is within the social world. So there's been a huge disruption within the social platforms um, that Meta has instigated with Threads. So Threads is a new way of basically connecting with people in the social sphere. It's tied to Instagram, which is obviously tied to the Meta platform. So I wanted to take a little bit of time just to talk about how Basis helps with integrating into our platform and why Threads and these social places are really important for us to be able to help out. So again, looking at this page, these are some of the big places that we help with integrations. So ad servers and billing and piping in search and social into our platform. So what are we doing with that data? And what are our advertisers and agencies doing with that information? So we know that all these different areas can be very complex. There's a lot of moving pieces when you're running an agency. And what we wanna be able to do is call us into one platform so that you can take care of all these things, pipe in data, use that data, and then make it easier through technology for billing and for management of your campaigns. So as we look at what, again, we do within search and social, it's a one-way integration. So we're pulling that data into the platform. The platform is monitoring the performance, the pacing. We can then report out to uh, through that platform to your end client so that they can see everything in one spot. So with the disruption that we just saw within this last you know, couple of days, with threads coming out and new social place. There's no advertising there yet, but I wanna go into what it means, what it is, and then how we're helping our advertisers within this the social environment. So when we talk about um, social sources, this is where we can help to centralize all your media campaigns within the meta environment. And one of the things that we're, we're, we're launching and getting into is not only being able to do it within meta and, and LinkedIn, but also within TikTok and Snapchat, these are different platforms that you can now plug and play into the basis environment. So some of these are on the on the uh, product uh, roadmap that we're going to be in integrating soon. Some are, there, are available right now. But as we look at, we want to make sure that you're, as an agency, able to tie together all the things that you may be doing within programmatic along with search and social. So when we look at the different social channels and what's happening right now is that things are starting to, again, coalesce into some big channels. So with the, the release of threads, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what it is, how can I help you and what to look for. When we look at threads, threads is just another way for people to connect with each other and it's under the meta environment. So they're using, right? They're using Instagram to then couple it to threads. So threads is really going after that, uh, that audience that people that that maybe have used Twitter or are no longer using Twitter. And it's just another place for people to, to get involved with. So as we look at all the different ways that people are going to be looking at social media, this is just another place for them to engage and react and connect uh, with others. And Threads, what's interesting about it, again, because it's tied to Instagram, it's already piggybacking off that user base. So uh, we're uh, several days into it being launched, and I think they've uh, reached over 100 million users that have engaged on this platform. So we can see that it's a huge spot for people to engage with, with each other. And the, the piggybacking off of Instagram is was really smart from Meta's perspective because it's already having this built-in audience. So what does that mean for those that are involved in advertising? So there's no advertising that's taking place on threads right now but it will at some point probably and most likely uh, support that. Meta is not gonna do it without trying to make money off of it, right? So what that means is it's now gonna be another option for those of you that are doing meta advertising, and I'm sure that many of you are, it's just gonna be another check mark that you're gonna be able to turn on 
when you're advertising on the meta platform. And that's the other big piece of this. It's going to be very easy for advertisers to be able to plug into these areas for their, for their clients. And so what we wanna be able to do is support that. So because we already have that connection with Meta, we're gonna be able to port that data into the basis environment and be able to report back to your clients what's going on. The other piece of this that, that I wanted to kind of cover is that there's a lot of speculation within the, you know, the, the, the governmental world, the, the social world that TikTok's gonna be very challenged in the near future at sustaining its platform with all the, the, the litigation that's coming down. So what we're starting to see is, is that there's two major places to do search or uh, social advertising within Meta and within Google. With Google, YouTube, and some of these other products that they have that are out there, you know, that's where you know, social is really going to live. So when we look at this from an advertising perspective, it makes things a little bit easier, but what we want to do is project out. And if we're seeing the challenges that TikTok is having, if we're seeing the challenges that Twitter is having, and we see the success that Threads is having, and the ease of which you can turn on advertising there once it's available, it's really lending to the dollars flowing into that platform. Well, if you're going to be spending money in that, in that platform within the meta environment, and you can plug it into the basis environment and be able to report and track and monitor and manage and report back to your clients, these are all things that are going to, again, live within the basis platform. So I just wanted to cover this again, that when we look at, at basis, we're here to solve pain points, right? Another social platform is a pain point, but we can ease that pain point by integrating it into our platform, by then reporting it out and making things easier for you as an agency to be able to handle any disruptions that may be coming along the way. So Threads is here, it's going to stay, it's going to be a place where people are gonna be engaging on. And we know that at some point, advertising is going to flow into it. So you just have to be prepared for that. And because we already have that relationship with Meta, we're gonna be able to port that information through the platform into the basis environment and integrate and help you, as the screen says, move beyond just programmatic. So again, Basis is here to solve pain points. And if you have questions or needs, or if you have a uh, desire to understand more about what we can do to help uh, with your agency or your, or your brand, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you and have a blessed day.